Hey, what's up YouTube? So I want to do a follow up video on um, like the the uh, video that I put out about, you know, Linus's review and everything, because I've been getting a lot of good like comments and, and people saying that they, they're glad that I did that video and they're glad that I had a rebuttal to what he he was saying about the Azeron because it, it was a it was a pretty lazy video. Um, but uh, like it was a lazy video in terms of like really like trying to understand the Azeron and use it and and figure out who it's for right so anyway someone had asked me on the video or in the comments um if i had any issues let me let me actually bring up the comment that was made i'm kind of considering an Azeron. linus seemed to hit all the wrong spots on my concerns it's so wildly different than a keyboard doesn't have any competition i'm worried about longevity and learning to use this weird product and end up not having access to one in the future how has quality control been i heard some people say the 3d printing quality shows yes the the it you can tell it's a 3d printed product and normally when I when there are 3D printed products or 3D printed things, I tend not to like the 3D printed things. Now, when I was looking at the Azeron for the first time and I was looking at their website and I saw that the there was the Azeron, the original one, and in in pictures, you could tell that it was through a 3D print. And the what was it? The uh in the cyborg, right? You could you it looked much better. Like I knew that all of the products were 3D printed, but the Cyborg looked much better than the original Azeron in terms of the quality and, and the finish and stuff of, of the product. So I went with the Cyborg, not only because it just seemed it had more buttons, um, it seemed like it was a little more up-to-date version of the Azeron, and I was like, I like that one better. So I went for that one. You can tell that it's 3d printed on most of the parts that are kind of curved right and there are some other parts of where you can see like the 3d printing if you look closely at it but in general you're not really going to be looking at the thing and it does not feel cheap like the the azeron does not feel cheap it has a nice little weight to it and it and it's made to like hold all these things together it has a lot of screws a lot of articulation points stuff like that it has rubber feet on it so that you know it doesn't move around on your desk but um i used to not have this desk mat i used to not have this desk mat on my desk and underneath it's like a carbon fiber top and the rubber feet that are on the bottom of here did not really you know want to stick to the carbon fiber top so this is why you see these pieces of velcro here and i used the worst possible pieces of velcro that i had because <laughs> I just had them laying around and I stuck two pieces of Velcro to my desk. So there's a piece of Velcro here, there's a piece of Velcro right here. And um and I use that to stick these two pieces of Velcro to the to the desk and so that it wouldn't move. But right now with the um with the desk mat, when I'm pressing down on this and you know moving it around with my hand, it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere, right? Like I'm kind of like shaking my desk around. It doesn't go anywhere. So I have not been having an issue of the, the Azeron like moving around on the desk um, while I have the desk mat on here. Now, maybe some other, other you know, surface area, surface tops might do better. Maybe glass, the rubber feet might stick to the glass better. Um, I'm not sure because I've never tried it on a glass surface. But there are some other people that said that, you know, they haven't had an issue with the rubber feet moving around on the desk. But that could that's that's a solution if you if you want to you know use that. But um, if you have a if you have like a desk mat or you have something that you can put underneath it that will not move, um, that would be that would be better. Other other things that uh, that I have like issues with, I guess that I've had issue with with like quality control. So my joystick when I first got the Azeron, um, my joystick was. Inside here, you wouldn't be able to see it really, but inside here, the joystick part was lifted up maybe like a millimeter. Like it wasn't soldered all the way down to the board. Now, when I was using it, I couldn't tell. Like I, you know, I I was playing, you know, using it like normal, but then I wanted to try the restrictor ring. So when I put the restrictor ring, it's like a little metal ring. You take this, um, 
you take the joystick off, you put the restrictor ring down on here, and then you put this right on top of it, and it stops the and it stops the um it stops the joystick from moving all the way to one side, right? It 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 gives you a little like it it stops sooner. And sometimes, you know, I felt like I was like that that feels pretty good. But when I would try to calibrate the joystick, it would not um it wouldn't calibrate properly. And I couldn't figure out why I could never get it so that the restrictor ring was always was was full tilt on one side. So when I had the restrictor ring on there, I there was one there was one portion of the, the joystick where I could not it was like a dead zone. I could not get it to move in that direction. So I would just not use the restrictor ring. So I emailed Azeron about it. And uh, you know, they asked me a couple of questions about it and they were they were like, well if you feel comfortable, would you be able to, you know, open up the the stick box and and take a couple of pictures of it and and I was like yeah sure I could do that so I opened it up and I took a couple of pictures of it and sure enough I, I had even seen what it was when I opened it up and I was like oh this must be what it is so I made sure I took a very clear picture of that and I emailed that picture to them and they were like oh okay I, we see you know we see what the problem is because I told them I was like yeah it looks like it's not always soldered all the way down to the board so they 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 gave me two options. They were like, "Well, you can either send the Azeron back to us, and we can um we can repair it and replace you know the the joystick and send it back to you, or we can send you the joystick and the instructions in video form because they they had like a video. I think they have a video on their channel or something like that of how you can change the joystick because you have to pull the wires out of the board that is in here." and um and rewire the new one into the board and i was like uh so i watched the video of how to do it and i was like i, I could probably do that because it's like very easy like you just there's there's two there's a bunch of flathead screws in in the board and you just unscrew the flathead screws pull pull all the wires for the joystick out and you have to remember where those wires go and then you uh, in the video, they, sh they show you how to put it back in there, color, color coded and everything. And, um, then you just take the other wires, you stick them back in there and you tighten the screws back down and then you reattach, you know, the, 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 uh, joystick box to the Azeron. Right. So I was like, I, I think I can do that. I can, I can do that. So they sent me out the part for free. They shipped it to me. I think it got to me within like two days or three days or something like that. It got to me pretty quickly. And, um, I replaced it and it was fine, but I don't even use the restrictor ring now. Like, like I used to use it, but then I was like, eh, you know, I don't need to use it. I don't want to use it. I think I took it off for a, another reason, but I just don't use it. So, but they still, they still, you know, they got me out the part and, and, you know, it was, it was pretty good. And, and I'm not like, and I'm not like some like, you know, big content creator or something where they're like, oh, we got to get this content creator and stuff. They didn't know that I was like a content creator. I'm pretty sure. And so they just they they just sent the part out. You know, they sent the part out. It was like, oh, it's it's messed up. Um, it's you know, it's not correct. So we'll send you the part out. Cool. Um, uh, what what are some other things here? So the grip tape, the grip tape. Uh, after long long use, you know, some of the grip tape will get kind of kind of dirty. And uh, and and there's a couple of them that I took off. I didn't put grip tape on all of the buttons, like the buttons that are up there on the top. I did not put any grip tape on on those buttons in the in the first place. I didn't put any grip tape on these buttons at all either. Um, there was oh wait, I do have a piece of grip tape on this one. These two side buttons, I didn't put any grip tape on. The only ones I put grip tape on were the buttons that my hands rest on the most, which are the ones these flat buttons in in inside of here. Right. And then the buttons that you're that my fingers usually rest on that are like right here. But you see, there's no grip tape on this one and there's no grip tape on um, uh, this button or or this button in here. Right. There's no grip tape. I took those grip tape off those ones. I use those are the buttons that I use the absolute most on the Azeron. So like I just basically took them off because they started to slide around because you're oily your your oily hands and your you know the dirt from your hands eventually gets in there and it makes the, the adhesive like disgusting and so i just took them off and just wiped those buttons down 
the other grip tapes are, you know, wearing out because, you know, my, my fingernails poke these two, um, these two grip tape things, but you know, it, they serve their purpose, right? So like, if you don't want to put them on there, you don't have to put them on there. I'd probably still get new grip tape and put it on there, but I don't, I, it doesn't bother me. Like there, the rest of the grip tape is not bothering me. Having taken the grip tape off is not bothering me. And the only reason why I even put, I wanted grip tape on there in the first place is because when I first got it, I didn't understand like, or I didn't have like a feel for how I wanted my hand to sit in there. So my hands rested on the buttons pretty heavily um, all the time. And, and I just didn't like the feel of the plastic being slippery and stuff like that. But like, it's, it's fine. Like, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even like think about that anymore um, at this point. So taking the grip tape off didn't even, didn't even bother me. I don't dislike how it is. I probably won't put any grip tape back on there. If I had to take all the grip tape off, I'd probably be just fine with that. Um, the, the biggest, biggest thing um, that people would probably um, be bothered by um, upon getting, or not, not getting it, but like after a long amounts of use, like I use this thing pretty much every single day for almost every game that I play. I don't use it for fighting games. Um, I tried. Uh, it, I didn't. I did not. I was like, I'm just gonna stick the stick. I'm not playing fighting games with it. But like every game that I play, Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, any action game, it doesn't matter. Whatever game I'm playing, I use it for Genshin Impact. Doesn't matter. League of Legends. Every game I try to find a way to use this thing. So like if you look at uh if you look at this, this is my this is my uh uh, list of games and things that I use it for. At the top, I have CapCut. Now they've recently made some updates since um, I got uh, the the software. The software didn't used to look like this. This is like version two of the software or something like that. I don't know. This is the second. This the software was a completely different color and it looked way different than this. It looks a lot better now and it has a lot uh, more features, right? So the, this is my list of things that I have on here: Apex Legends, Valorant, Destiny Two, Fortnite, Cyberpunk. Starfield, Genshin, uh, Neon, uh, was it, what was this, Neon, uh, I forgot what it was called, Neon, Neon something, it was like, it's like a, a, um, a roguelike game, New World, Overwatch 2, Halo, Shatterline, I was using it for Resolve, uh, Ghost Runner, Splitgate, PSO2, when I was playing that a little bit, uh, League of Legends, Lost Ark, The Cycle, which doesn't exist anymore, rest in peace, Super People, I have two, I have two of these for super people because I use layering in super people because super people has a lot of buttons. Dofus, synced. Uh, this is my default profile. This is what I use when I want to make a new profile from scratch. Basically, after a lot of use, after a ton, a ton of use, these joints right here, um, these, these, control the articulation of whether these go forward and back right and 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 they and they twist around like they it's like a ball joint so like you can move this usually you can move this around you see i'm not moving it but i'll explain why in a second so normally when you first get it these are very like tight right they're very tight um there's a screw in the bottom of here like if you look in the bottom of here there's screws that are in here so that you can tighten these joints so that you know if you need to loosen this you'll loosen this joint so it sandwiches this little ball right here and then you can move this around right and then you tighten it back down so it stays where you want it to stay if you are pressing like if you're in like a heated fight or whatever and you're pressing you know sometimes you might press a little too hard like you come around a corner and you you're trying to hit hit like i don't know hit the a crazy crazy flick shot and then you 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 hit a button and use a skill and or something like that. I don't know. And then you click it and it like maybe clicks down two notches because you pressed it really hard, right? And then instead of loosening up the screw and then, you know, moving it back to where it was and then retightening the screw, you just move it back. Now, that's what I normally would do. Um, and after doing that, a lot of times over a course of, you know, months to a year, right? Um, 
those teeth that hold the ball joint in place because the ball has teeth around it to try to hold that together um, and, and to, you know, keep that tension or whatever, um, they start to wear. And then, like, it's easier. It gets easier and easier to push that, um, to push this thing out of, like, to push this arm back, and push it down out of position. So what I did was I super glued them. I gorilla glued them. I, I gorilla glued the joints, all four of the joint, five of these joints, because there's one, a bigger one right here for the, the joystick, because the joystick can move this way, it can move back, it can move in, it can move you know out or whatever. But when you set this up, when you first get it, you're probably going to keep it that way for the rest of the time that you use it, unless you want to fold it back up and then put it back in the box and transport it. Like, I did that literally one time, and that was when I moved here. If I didn't, if I if I had super glued them and they stayed that way before I moved here, I would have just found another box to put it in and covered it in, like, packing material or whatever. Whatever. But I Gorilla glued these so that they do not move. I do not want these joints to move at all, right? Um, I did want them to be, like, at first I, I had, like, this little piece of paper in, in this joint. To, to give it some tension so like it could tighten around that and then like it still you know eventually got a little loose so I super glued that too I just I just super glued all around all these joints um now they don't move and it and it feels great it's wonderful but um I I don't I don't you know I don't want them to take those joints out of of ones right and have them s sitting there because people want to you know have customization that's what this whole thing is about for you to customize it for your like liking customize it to your liking and like make it comfortable for you to play with and it's really not about anybody else playing with it right so now they're they're there they they are they they work as intended they don't move it feels comfortable for me to use i don't have to worry about the joystick being you know uh pressed in or out of position because that's gorilla glued in place and it's good but like all the other all the other joints, right? I'm not gonna super glue those. Like these, I don't even really use these. I don't really care about these. But I don't, I don't really use them at all. Like I use them for the least important things. Um, and I guess I'll go over that and like how I determine what goes where when I when I'm using the bugs on an Azeron. But um, but yeah. Otherwise, after I super glued these into place, I. I feel good. It feels good. I use it every day. Um, I have not had any failures with buttons. Um, the only, I guess the only weird things I've had with the joystick is like kind of, kind of drift, which is not really a problem because you could, you can set the dead zones. And sometimes if you don't set the dead zones, right. Um, if you don't set the dead zones, right, which this one is not set correctly either. Um, like I usually, I, I'm not even a hundred percent sure if this is set correctly, but usually if I set the dead zones around this, right, uh, I'm good to go. Um, I, I used to have it set down here, but sometimes I noticed that, um, it would not go back to center and it would be like veering off to the, the side a little bit. Cause like if it's, if it's at all off, it'll be, you know, like it looks like it's drifting. It looks like it's drift. But if you move these up here, usually I move them like this, and I usually have zero problems with it going back, back to the center. So, um, that that's the, and I thought it was I thought my joystick was drifting like actually, but I just had my dead zones set incredibly wrong, and um, any any slight move or adjustment or bump in the desk, and it would it would like move and it would be like jittery and stuff like that. So. Just have to make sure your dead zones are set correctly so that you know they're they work as intended um and it also like if i ever needed to rotate this joystick because like you know it, it didn't feel right in a certain game or something like that you can also rotate the angle of the joystick and you can just turn this joystick you know forward or back depending on whether you know you need to adjust the angle of you know the rotation of the joystick so forward is actually forward or whatever it is right um but yeah, other otherwise, like it's 
it's a very good product. If you're like a person who likes to tinker with stuff, um, at first you'll have a lot of tinkering to do to get it all set up and to get it to, to be comfortable for your hand. And then once it's comfortable for your hand, I mean, if you want to, I just super, I would just say super glue those joints into place. Um, cause if you, if you super glue these joints into place, you'll, you'll never want to move these joints ever. Um, anyway, um, I, I super glue them and I've been, I've been using it this way and I've been a hundred percent good. Um, I've been, I've been waiting for the thing to break, <laughs> but it just won't. So like, because I want to, I want to have a reason to buy another one. Like I want a cyborg compact. Um, that's the only thing. Like if, if I would have, if I could have made a different decision on which one to get, I would have chosen a cyborg compact and not the cyborg, um, the, 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 the original cyborg. I don't, I don't use these three pretty much for anything. This one I use the most out of these top four buttons, but I would use these more if they were flat because like the cyborg compact has like the, it, it basically cuts these greens part, these green part off. And then, and then there's buttons on top of where this black part stops and they're flat buttons. And I would use those way more often. I would use these all the time, probably for something if they were flat, if I, got a different one i would get a cyborg compact if like those are those are all of my i guess um issues or like like experience things that i've had like with the with the azeron i know i kind of like went off on a tangent and just talked about a bunch of stuff um i i did this you know this video is scriptless so um if you have any questions specifically about like the azeron or like how i use it or um, if you have any, you know, questions about how you, how would you use it? Maybe throw them down in the comments and, and I'll, and I'll try to answer your questions and maybe I'll put, make a new video of maybe more, uh, more focused on the questions that people have been asking. But yeah, um, that's, that's about it for, for this video. And, um, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. That's about it for this video, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video. Uh, thanks. Peace.